Sum myth function in Excel is one of the most important functions here in Excel because it can sum not all the values, but just the values that match with the criteria that we're going to specify. So, for example, here in this theoretical example, I have a sales report and a bunch of columns like date, customer, product, quantity, unit price, and total price, the seller name, the shipment price, and then the order total. Let's say instead of calculate and to add up all the values that make up here my order total, I want to know not the sum of all this column right here, but this total amount that Tyler sold, for example. And let's say the total amount that Anna sold and the total amount that Sarah sold. So instead of just sum, add up all the values that make up my order total, I want to know a sum of a specific criteria. Tyler or Anna or Sarah, for example. And to make that sum with a criteria, we can use the sum if function in Excel. Sum if the criteria, the condition, are met. So let's start here with a new spreadsheet. And in this new spreadsheet here, I have the names of all the sellers that I have here in the company. So let's say I want to know how much is the total sales, but the total sales by Tyler and then the Anna and then the Sarah. So here, instead of use the equal sign sum function to just add up all the numbers in a range, I'm going to use instead sum if. Okay, so double click it, one, two. And the first thing that the sum if function is asking me is what is the range that I'm going to use to check my criteria, to look up for the condition. And this range of condition is here in the sales report. And I'm going to select, let's say, the entire, the whole column G. Okay, so column G. And then as you guys can follow along here in the formula bar, I'm going to press here, comma. And then the function is asking me the criteria. My criteria is here. I'm going to come back to the sheet one. And then let's say my first criteria, I want you to know how much Tyler sold. So I'm going to click here in the Tyler name. Or I can click here in the Anna or Sarah, okay? I can change it. But let's stick here with the Tyler. And then I'm going to press here, comma. And now, as you guys can see here, the sum if function is asking me what is my sum range. So after the sum if function, look up for the condition in the con criteria range, let's say that way, it's going to add up some values. And where is this range where these numbers are at? So let me just come back here to the sales report. And now I'm going to select here the entire column I, okay, order total. I'm going to click here. And then in the formula bar here, as you guys can follow along, I'm going to just close parentheses and then press enter. And here we got the result of the total sold, but just not the total, the overall total, only the values that met the criteria. And our criteria here, double click to check, is the Tyler name. So here the sum if function did not sum all the values in the range, just sum, just add up the values that correspond with the salesperson Tyler. And of course I can change the name. So let's say now I want to check it up the how much Anna sold. So I can click here in the selection, okay? And I can put it in just over here in the Anna name and then press enter. Okay, here we got the result. And of course I can change it again. So I want to check here now for Sarah. So we're gonna just leave the selection just over the Sarah name and then press enter. And as you know that the selection is just over the Sarah name, let's say now I'm going to delete all these other two names. And instead of using Sarah here, I want you to type it in, let's say Tyler, for example. Enter. Look, the total says just automatically repeat it for me. And if I change again, so let's say Anna, enter. As you guys can see here, the sum if function is a dynamic function. And it's always going to automatically repeat it for us if we change the reference, the criteria the condition. And of course, instead of using, let's say, a uh, criteria that is within the cell, we can type it in the criteria, the condition within the sum if function. So as you guys can follow here in the formula bar, instead of using the selection of the cell itself, I can delete it. And instead, I'm going to type it in, let's say, open quotations mark, Tyler, close quotations marks, and then I'm going to press enter. We can either do using a reference in the cell and make the sum if function dynamic, or we can also just manually type it in the name, the criteria within the function, within the sum if function. But this second way to do it is not dynamic. So in my personal opinion, I prefer just do it using the condition, the criteria that is in the cell. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, let me know. And I see you tomorrow. As everybody has a new video, I see you there.